people already know who you are, but people who don't know who you are, uh, who are you and what do you do? Gosh, who am I? So hello, everybody. I am Chris Anova, also known as Beep um, online, <laughs> mainly on Twitter, where I post a lot of educational things. I'm a part of Geeks and Gamers, Park Hoppin specifically. I do a lot of theme park stuff and also been venturing into the arts and crafts world. So you can follow me on Instagram, Crafty Darlings, where I just started up. And actually, let me show you some of my art, if that's OK, that I've worked yeah, on go ahead. today. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and grab it. Up. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I. Yeah, she, uh, she, she's been doing really, really good, good work. See, I haven't drawn on paper for a long time, right? And the thing is that here, I'm going to show a very lewd image really quick before Krista brings up her awesome art. So I was on with uh, Tabitha. Tabitha, uh, yeah. Yeah, Dreaming Tabitha yesterday. and <laughs> Oh, I saw it's, some uh, of that live stream. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's not, it's not, it, I, I guess you would say it's sort of family friendly. Uh, but yes, uh, I, I, you know what? You know what? Let, let's have Krista show hers first before <laughs> I, I ruin everything else. Like, let's, let's oh, it's go okay. ahead and have show hers. Uh, no, that was a fun stream I was watching. It's awesome. Oh, um, so, yeah, I've been working on this project. So I just relocated and I was like, you know what? I want some art pieces. And I was looking online, couldn't finally find anything I liked. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. So I came up with the idea of doing a project where I painted the paintings from Super Mario 64. Ooh. So this is Bomb Bomb Battlefield. How do I, okay, I, I'm, I'm pretty dumb. How do I full screen you? In oh. uh, gosh, that's a good question. Um, So if you hover over me, I think there's like is a little- solo button. layout? Is that how yes. it works? Yeah. There, there we go. go. Ah. There, there we go. So Bomb Bomb Battlefield, and then we have the second yeah. look. And this is the one that I did today. That is- Oh, how cool. Yeah, Jolly Roger Bay. This was a hard one to do, actually. Oh, my gosh. I thought this was going to be the easiest, but getting different colors of blue, it just took forever. This took me three hours to do. So three hours for that one. This one was only about like an hour and a half. Not so bad. Different colors, as you can see on the buildings and such. This mm. one is the most simple one out of them, I think. Uh, 40 minutes. But uh, definitely my favorite one so far because it's the most iconic. Um, yep. John you guys ever played super smash bros or i don't know if you grew up yep. on uh the 64 like i have or yeah games but they're definitely like my childhood games and so i thought of that and uh i have a couple more to do it's 10 levels so i have a lot to uh that is awesome um what, what paint do you use? you use acrylic acrylic yeah i'm basic <laughs> i'm not really fancy i just started out so um i'm starting out really basic. good they're really oh, really really good Thank you. I don't think of myself as a professional, but uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now, so, so since now that we have the really cool actual like canvas board paintings, <laughs> now you guys, now you guys are going to see my degenerate <laughs> painting that I did yesterday on uh, Dreaming of Tabitha. Uh, so the prompt was uh, it's supposed to be the the theme was Indiana Jones, but so we went in with aliens, uh, blonde. Uh, was Have to be Amber brilliant. Parrot. Mm -hmm. Had to be brilliant. It had to be a knight, and I'm like, what? Like, oh, <laughs> so like, all right, cool. So I ended up, I ended up doing this. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, though. That's yeah, really good. Up, oh my gosh. I ended up doing this. So then, uh, it's funny, is because like, uh, like everyone was like, wow, like, we, like we started doing like a bunch of like cleavage and stuff like that, boob windows. But yeah, it, it was super fun because I haven't drawn for myself like for fun mm. in such a long time. But yeah, this is a uh, this this was really fun. This was definitely really really that's really awesome. Fun. But, um, yes, I, I I haven't drawn on like canvas board in such a long mm. time like, since college. Wow, so like yeah. like I actually like really love when people do like like actual physical medium, mm. uh, you can, like you know paint or you know a gouache or a watercolor or mm. what have you. But uh, that that's super super awesome. Yeah, um, I can't wait to see. Are you gonna do all of them? Yes. So um, there are Ooh. levels where there's no paintings involved. So I'm obviously not going to do those ones, but just going to focus on the paintings itself in Bowser's castle. Oh, that's yeah. going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> A lot of paint. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's very, very cool. So um, um, if you don't mind me asking you, like, how did you like get involved with like geeks and gamers? Like, it's, it's like, because you're originally from Canada, right? So like, how, yeah. how did all, that all happen? My gosh. Well, a great place called the internet uh, where you can meet people all around the world. Uh, so, 
Yeah, it's such a long story, but to kind of give you the the shorter version. Um, so I started out, you know, geeking out on Twitter, doing polls, you know, like Star Wars and stuff like that. And of course, like in the community of like geeks and gamers in the beginning, it was mainly just Star Wars, like centered around that Star Wars and video games. Right. And so because I was talking a lot about Star Wars, it kind of just I, I, you know, ventured into their community. And the next thing I know, um, drunk 3po pops up in my feed and in my chat and all this and i feel like he's the guy that just brings everybody together he's popular yes. with the ladies you know like all the <laughs> girls are just like from geeks and gamers is new and from drunk 3po so um yeah i it's funny because with jeremy i remember when i first saw him I was like scared because he was like on Twitter, like, you know, arguing with people. And then like, I was kind of in the beginning, like on the wrong side of the internet, like the SJW ish, like people are like, stay away from geeks and gamers. They're awful. And I was like, <laughs> well, he's arguing with people on Twitter. Like maybe he is awful. So I like stayed away from him. But then, you know, when I met drunk three PO, I saw that he was friends with Jeremy and I'm like, well, this Jeremy person can't be so bad if Jay's friends with him. So, <laughs> yeah, it just happened that, you know, I was on Jeremy's radar and he saw what I like to do, uh, what I was doing on my Twitter. So I started out, you know, on the media side of Geeks and Gamers on Twitter and social media, which I still am, but my hands are everywhere. I know I was talking about this with you backstage, but I'm on Park Hop and I do the thumbnails for Geeks and Gamers. Like, I, yes, I'm pretty have, much like everywhere. Some thumbnails. Yeah, we're going to yes. some thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of the shorter story if you can imagine it's just it's a long story but that's the gist of it yeah that's that that's actually really really cool like i i, I always ask people like how did they you know meet each yeah. other and stuff like that and ours was jay as well interesting okay yeah, yeah. so uh we, we um during this time we had what i think gray was it like 80 80 less than yeah wow. and the, the my yeah the crazy thing is i think he subscribed to us before you had to take a break because of Ollie. Uh, yeah. 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 And then like, um, like I think we had like five viewers. It's around like uh, mm. maybe like 10, 30 PM or something like that here in California. Mm. And uh, he says, hi. And then <laughs> me and Gray, like, we immediately uh, looked at chat like, and we we're just like, I was like, that's a fake, that's a fake account. <laughs> no way that's real. <laughs> and then he was like, you can look at my link and then like clicked on his name at, at the time he had uh... subscribers. And then like we we both like hope. Holy crap, that's <laughs> that's actually him. Like we started sweating and we we're just like, oh hey, uh Thanks for you know dropping by and uh, oh yeah, I yeah. remember then the whole thing on Tuesday night like egg roll like they're Asian and they have a podcast. Yeah, I, I'm going down memory lane now. Yeah, wow, it's always Jay. It's always Jay. Yeah, yes. All right, but yes. Um, speaking of thumbnails, mm. I'm gonna bring up some of the thumbnails that you did. So this oh. one was the most one of the most. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is amazing. This yeah. Is so that so wait, good. so you had to remove this one. Is that is that what was is that what the story was like you have to replace this one? Yeah, well, the thing too with YouTube is that and it's crazy to think, but if like a thumbnail's not working for a video, you kind of have to update it too. So, it's a mixture of just like sometimes YouTube being like, "Hold up, this ain't right for our platform." And another time it's like the click-through rate is just like switch it up a bit but can you imagine mm. like this like no one clicking on it i mean come on <laughs> the screaming yeah, sjw awesome. yeah the boom yeah. then we yeah. have this one right over here <laughs> this one is good ah uh, yes so something about in the game that I, I again i haven't played this game i know it's really popular right now everyone's playing it besides me but i think this word was in the game and it got censored by was it sony again correct me if i'm wrong or something so so what happens is that in, in the original game like um this is for uh the reviewers right we're right before the embargo lifted there was a uh, we're going to talk about it soon but like I, i'll show you an, an image how it actually looks like there's a word a, a graffiti on the wall that says hard and then um and then there's a shop that's called r shop but mm. the r is capitalized and it's like really big so it says mm. hard r and so for, for oh. a person who who lives in Canada, uh, you know, who grew up in Canada, like you, you get that reference, right? Like, yes, what, yes. What, okay. So <laughs> yeah, because uh, when I was playing the game last night and, and the thing is I asked Gray, did he know what it was? And, and Gray, do, do you, did you know what it was before I told you what it was? 
Nah, not really. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a only like a Western thing. So what happened was like, oh. people were like, what is hard R? It's like, what is that? So oh. yeah, they ended up tra- changing it to crime. So now it's mm. crime R. Right, so right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with my thumbnails, I mean, I, I know I told you this backstage, but you know, when in doubt, I put a big booby chick on it or Samuel Jackson. I don't know why people <laughs> click when they see Samuel Jackson, but they do. So <laughs> I put them both on the thumbnail or sometimes I like to diffuse them i guess you could say yeah um yeah so the, yeah what's, what's, <laughs> what's the story go. behind this one <laughs> <laughs> this video got over 100k views so there this you go amazing. thank you samuel jackson <laughs> and good assets i guess <laughs> oh man this when i thought when i saw this <laughs> look i even put eyelashes like yeah <laughs> he's beautiful and then of course we have this one right over oh, here yeah, yeah the, th- the thumbnails are freaking awesome thanks for checking out this segment of the project egg row podcast if you like what we do here please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live we do go live every saturday at 8 p.m once again we are just getting started tons of more video to come thanks and we'll see you guys next time